What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Rayboot in order to put your device in recovery mode, exit recovery mode and also repair the iOS system if it's broken and your device is no longer booting. You can find the Tenorshare Rayboot available here on the Tenorshare website and what this tool does is to repair over 150 plus iOS errors and of course iPadOS errors, tvOS errors and so on. And you can reset iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch without Finder or iTunes and so on. So that's that's actually great. It supports multiple kinds of issues, for example, if your iPhone is stuck on the loading screen or is stuck on the iTunes logo or DFU mode or updating iCloud settings and so on, you can fix many of these issues here. You can find all the errors that can be fixed, including the error 14 and many others. And then of course you have various driver issues if you have iTunes. You can of course skip altogether iTunes if you have this tool here. So I'm going to show you first how to use this program to put your device in recovery mode in preparation for check rain restore or anything. So I'm going to press in here and that's basically it. It says entering recovery mode and now my device reboots into the recovery mode which looks like this. Alright, so you might find something like this if you're on a Mac. You just press cancel and you press X in there and it says enter recovery mode successfully. And now my device is in recovery mode. I can go ahead and communicate with the iBoot with various terminal commands or of course I can open check rain to jailbreak it if I want to. It's detected here so I can go ahead and just put in the few mode from here or you can do various other things. If you want to exit recovery mode, which is something more commonly wanted because your device is showing the laptop logo and a power cable, you just press exit recovery mode from here and that's it. One click to enter, one click to exit. And of course your device will boot in a couple of minutes, it shows the Apple logo and after that you will be back to the home screen, no problem. Alright, so it says in here exited recovery mode successfully, so that's it. Now if your device doesn't power on for some reason, you have any of the errors listed in here on their uh, page, for example various iTunes errors or your device is stuck or the screen is black or white or blue and it doesn't boot anymore and it's not a hardware problem because this software cannot fix hardware problems but if it's not a hardware problem you can try a system repair by pressing here on the start with the device connected and you have two modes have standard and deep. Now the deep one will cause data loss it will work better if your device is broken a lot and the normal repair will not work but this one will remove all your data. The standard one will just update your iOS and and of course it will reinstall it, but your data should remain intact, though it's a good idea to make a backup if you can. So I'm going to press standard repair for now and it's going to download the latest version available for you. You can specify one if you have one, but I don't. So as you can see, it identified the device and I can just press download in here and that's it. It will download the file pretty quickly depending on what internet connection you have. And after that, you will be good to go. It will restore just like iTunes used to do back in the days, but on macOS, iTunes is no longer available and the finder is a little bit cumbersome. So this tool works very well for the beginners, for people with no IT skills or no technical skills whatsoever. They just want something that would work, minimal number of button presses, minimal number of clicks and as you can see it works pretty fine. You can fix your device if it's broken. So I'm gonna be right back once this finishes in here and I'm gonna show you the result. Alright so the download has been completed. It says in here the firmware package 14.7.1 is ready. Yes this will update your device to the latest available iOS so if you're interested in jailbreaking this may not be a solution however I do believe that it's better to have a device running the latest version than no version whatsoever if your device is broken so it's better to get the 14.7.1 if your device is broken I'm gonna start with standard repair here and of course this is also one click you don't have to do anything at this point it says verifying it will verify analyze do everything the whole restore so this is a very good program for those of you who are beginners who are not tech savvy who don't want to mess around with finder and IPSWs and command line tools and whatever. This just does the job and it does it pretty well and it does fix a lot of the issues in here. If it's a software issue it will be fixed and aside from that it's nice that you have a one click to enter and exit recovery mode and that's completely free. You don't have to pay for that. The software comes with that for free. So at this point we're waiting for the device to restore itself. It will reboot a couple of times. You will see the Apple logo a couple of times and a progress bar. It's normal. Just give it time. You basically don't have to do much at this point. You just sit back and relax and it says in here that the estimated time is about 10 minutes which is mostly correct. It does take about 10 
minutes for this complete. Do not disconnect your device and make sure that you don't power off your computer and that's basically it. So I'm gonna wait for it to complete and be right back. And there you go, it says standard repair completed. Please enter the lock screen passcode after the device restarts. Of course if you have one, if you don't then it will start normally. And that's basically it. That's the restore module. So you can enter exit recovery mode easily with one click and this option is for free. And then you have the iOS system repair function here about which you can learn more on their website. Definitely check it out in the link below. I do believe it's a great tool and it does make a complicated task of restoring the firmware on your device a little bit easier for the people who are not exactly tech savvy. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.